Hey there, Trevor here at Gongs Unlimited, and we've got a mallet showcase for you. This is the Kong Klang KKPM230, otherwise known as the percussion mallet for gongs, singing bowls, and sound plates. Today we're gonna play it on some gongs, singing bowl, and a sound plate, and see the kinds of sounds we can get out of it. This is a very dense, hard mallet, you hear that? smack in my hand. This is, this mallet doesn't mess around. It's uh, soft to the touch, but it's very dense, hard core. So a uh, very aggressive attack on this mallet. And we're gonna demonstrate that right now. And starting small, we're gonna play a 18 inch galactic bow gong and uh, see what kind of tones we can get out of it. All right, so with this mallet being so weighty and hard for you know being a relatively small mallet, it's got decent weight and hardness to it. It really brought out a bell-like tone from that bow gong, um, hitting on the sides of the gong away from the nipple, we're able to bring out some overtones and hitting right on the center, we were able to get that low end, but the attack is almost like a, again, bell-like. You can really hear it when the mallet hits the gong, you definitely know. Uh, Moving on, we're going to play it on a sound plate. This is going to be a WOM Rectagong sound plate, one of the larger ones that you can check out on our store at gongsunlimited.com. And let's just get right into that one. Oh, it was delightful. Again, this is a heavy mallet on a sound plate like that. You're sure to get the whole spectrum of sound out of it from the bass to the crescendoing overtones. It really brought out any sound that I think I could personally get out of that sound plate with this. It's uh, not the mallet that we used to record them originally when we got them in, but I wish we had this guy around when we did because it was just delightful on a sound plate. And now we're gonna see how it contends on a singing bowl. This particular singing bowl is a 14 inch Annapurna, which you can check out on our other website, unlimitedsingingbowls.com. And with that being said, let's play a bowl.
Well, 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 no surprise here that this heavy-headed little guy sounded great on a large singing bowl. You know, anything from 12 inches up, this would be a good choice for getting not only the fundamental because of the heaviness of the mallet, but the hardness and the attack also helps to bring out those overtones that lie beneath the bowl and you get a really even sound, like the bowl's like just a chord almost. And now Brennan's gonna take it away and he's gonna play a 40 inch Dark Star with this and get some, we'll see what kind of sounds out of it with a, you know, mallet not particularly marketed for larger gongs, but we found that it sounds pretty cool on large gongs, so we're gonna include it anyways for you. And let's just do it, let's do it. me, Brennan, and I'm here to talk about the 40-inch Dark Star that I just played. Um, but you know that already, because why else would I be here? This mallet is not um, marketed, like Trevor said, for the 40-inch uh, Chinese gongs, the giant Chinese heavy gongs. But when we were testing it um, on everything we have around here in the Gongs Unlimited warehouse, we're kind of like, wow, this really does a well-rounded job on it because it is a combination of kind of a few mallets at once because it has that super fast, hard attack, but it also has heavy weight and kind of a soft surface. So like a bunch of things that are counterintuitive to one another, but what it does is gets you the crash sound um, or rather the overtones of a big crash or a big wash, but without actually having to get it there. You can get a pretty gentle hit with this and bring out overtones because of the weight and hardness quicker than you can with most mallets. Um, but it also keeps a heft to it because I think 
maybe it's a wider surface area than a lot of the hard mallets that are kind of a thinner disc or maybe a um, yarn mallet that comes out at an angle like this where you're getting a smaller contact point. I'm just guessing here, but what I do know is that when you hit it, um, you get a super good overtone explosion of sound, but it still maintains a very deep and rich low end. And you can sort of slowly pet the gong and only get that low end. And then if you want like an, you know, a splash or explosion of sound, you can just flick the wrist and hit it kind of on the corner here. And then you get a super well-rounded explosion of highs and mids without having to get the volume that much higher, which is, which kind of makes it unique for big gongs. So not the intention, but very good at it anyways. A very well-rounded mallet that you can use on a lot of different things in your um, sound healing collection. If you like what you heard, make sure to go to the website, gongsunlimited.com. You probably click the link in the description. It'll take you right to this guy's product page and check it out. Perhaps buy it. That's up to you, but that's been us at Gongs Unlimited. Have a good day.